This is the first in an ongoing series of game audio analysis videos. So these are not gonna be reviews of games, but an in-depth analysis of exactly what's going on within the game from an audio point of view. So we'll look into how the audio supports the narrative of the game, uh, what types of techniques they've used in producing the audio for the game, and also what things have worked particularly well from an audio point of view in the game, and also what things have not worked very, very well. I'm gonna be presenting these videos across a really broad range of game platforms right back to some of the very, very earlier platforms, such as the Nintendo and the Seegers, through to the current generation of home video game systems, including portable systems such as iOS devices, Android, um, Nintendo DS, Sony, Vita, etc. So, as the first of these videos, we're gonna start with something that was really quite simple in scope, and very, very simple in the resources that it used. And yet, it's probably more complex than most people realize. We're going to head right back to 1977 and we're going to start with the game that started it for me and that is Space Invaders. <laughs> 